So we said nth term trans doesn't work because it does equal zero, so it's inconclusive. So then what else did you try? Right, it's not a ratio, ratio number. That's probably what you want to do here. So um, the way we come up with a B sub n, what's your B sub n going to be? What's your compared series? Do you know? All you do is you take the highest power. Go ahead. Okay, you could do that. You don't need the numerical values, though. You can just do the powers. Mm -hmm. So there's your A sub n. And then B sub n would be that. What kind of uh, series is this? Ooh, it is a P series, but it's in disguise, right? Because n to the fourth over n to the fifth becomes one over n. What kind of what kind of P series is this? Is this convergent or divergent? Oh, look at you. Smart, smart. Divergent P series. P in this case equals one. And you have to say all this. Uh, you don't have to say it's harmonic, but that's good that you knew it was a harmonic series. All right, so then um, do you want to try a direct comparison or you want to try a um, limit comparison? Mm -hmm. Well, in, the, in this case, I would recommend doing a uh, limit comparison. Actually, if you have a choice, between limit comparison and ratio test, you can do 90% of those series problems. The reason why I say do limit, okay, that's fine. The reason I say do limit comparison test is because direct comparison has two conditions on it. And I, I've put a problem on this review sheet where you have to use direct comparison and you cannot use a limit comparison. So we'll do that one here in a little bit. But in this case, I think it'd be easier just to do the limit comparison. So when you do the limit, go ahead. Huh? If the answer to this limit, which they call rho, is an element of zero to infinity, or another way of saying it is it's positive and finite, then a sub n behaves just like b sub n. So if b sub n converges, then uh, a sub n converges. If b sub n diverges, then a sub n diverges. So let's take a look at that limit. <clears throat> so we're going to have a limit as n approaches infinity of uh, 20n to the fourth, was it? Oh, minus 5n over n. Okay, quick recap. Uh, we're doing an, a series problem and had some technical difficulties. So now we're back online. Uh, we tried the nth term first, it didn't work. Then we did comparison was suggested. And I advise that we do limit comparison because it's the easier of the two. And you do the limit of uh, a sub n over b sub n. And if that answer is an element of zero to infinity or is positive and finite, then a sub n behaves just like b sub n. So we're in the process of taking that limit. All right, so uh, now you could plug in as it sits right now in this limit of a sub n over b sub n, but you're going to have to clean this up anyway. You might as well clean this up. So how do you get rid of this 1 over n on the bottom? What do I have to do to that? You multiply by its reciprocal. Good. So if I multiply by n over n uh, or just multiply by n over 1, however you want to treat it, that's fine. And when, yeah. you, do, when you do so, you're going to get limit as n approaches infinity of 20 n to the fifth minus 5 n over n minus n to the fifth. Do you agree with that statement? Yes. Okay. I, I did make a mistake and I caught it after I made it, but I didn't say anything just to see if you were paying close attention. You got to catch yourself on these tests. Okay. Is it 5n to square? Yes, ma'am. Or sure does that is. matter? It's not going to matter in the, in okay. the big picture, but uh, well, yeah. be aware of detail, okay? So now in this case, uh, if okay. I...
plug in infinity, what's going to happen? Infinity over infinity. Good. And we write down what? When it's infinite over infinite. And they terminate. And they I and D. A lot shorter, right? I and D. So what do you suggest we do now? Um, L'Hopital's rule? We can do L'Hopital's rule, but you see how that power is really high? Five. Uh, and then there's Yeah, so it might take a while. It might take a while. Algebra might actually be the better cases or the better approach. So what you can do here in this case is ask yourself, what's the common power to these guys? N to the fifth, so you want to multiply everything to one over n to the fifth? Yes. You know what, I just realized, oh. I think I made this problem incorrect by making that a negative. I yeah, because I got negative 20 and I was like, wait, you're supposed to be positive and finite. <laughs> I made these problems up at 1 a.m., so I'm sorry. So I'm going to change it because I'm the author okay. of these problems. Luckily, not too many people <laughs> saw these problems on the uh, on the Facebook, so... So it's plus? Yeah, let's change it to a plus. Sorry. Okay. I'm human. I make mistakes. No, you're good. I think I might have worked 14 hours yesterday. I started about 6 a.m. and then finished till about 2 a.m. Actually, with a couple naps in between. Probably more than 14 hours. Not that you care. I do. I, um, I, I already thank you for it. I'm and here, aren't I? Nobody cares. <laughs> You're here because you have a test. <laughs> what if I actually just had like a, a complete nervous breakdown online with you right now and just started crying? Ah. Well, well, you're recording it, so <laughs> well, everyone well, else would know about it, not just me. <laughs> right. So what happens here? Uh, and to the that goes to zero. Over, yeah, and then that's going to be plus one. And that goes to zero. One. And then that goes, five or into the cube goes to zero. That goes to zero. So then you're left with 20 over one, which equals 20. So 20 is an element of zero to infinity. So the conditions do apply. So you'd say, therefore... Because B sub n is a divergent P series, and uh, rho is positive and finite, A sub n also diverges. You have to write it like that in the exam. Yeah, some sort of sentence concluding like it all. E. What Are you e? saying row or E? This one is row. Equals. This okay, is, I've never uh, been taught that. That one is row. The limit, or L, you can say L. They used to call it row. Oh, L. Yeah, they, they do L. Okay, whatever. L, row, same thing. The limit answer. Okay. Any, Any questions? questions? <laughs> No, sir. Okay. Oh, do you have to write a uh, by limit comparison test? Oh, oh good girl. girl. I, I forgot, forgot and you, you saved, saved me. By LCD. <laughs> Yay. Good, good for you. you.